All right, fellas, so I'm currently working on removing the old pilot bushing uh, from a small block so that I can insert this new one. This one, the outer diameter, will, will slide right in there. But the inner diameter is uh, the same as the, uh, the input shaft from the Ford uh, T5 transmission that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mating to this to this engine. Um, I'm currently using this Dremel to cut through uh, the bushing uh, because I use the typical tool that comes with this or that you used to uh, get the pilot bushing out but it won't work so if I mess up that's on me but I'm gonna so far it's biting through that fairly easily and I'll keep doing that uh, hopefully I'll get this out without damaging um, the crankshaft and I'll be back All right, so went out and got more um, more bits. Currently using this one to widen to widen that uh, that cut. So we'll start back at it again. Hopefully we'll get it through this time.
try to keep this as steady as possible, but that sucker's finally coming, coming out. Let's see if I can keep this steady. She's actually coming out. And there she goes. Okay, like I said, this is a uh, new pilot bushing, and this sucker fits the outer diameter. Fits directly there. And this is the input shaft for the T5 transmission. I really need to clean this sucker. But the inner diameter Slides right in there. But using using these bits, um, it was kind of like a last resort because when I used this uh, yesterday, man, I used it so many times, probably a dozen times or more, and it just would not get a hold, a proper hold. Uh, if you see the ends of the tool, how they're grabbing the, the pilot bushing or bearing, um, they just, they would just kept sliding off, they just weren't working, so, again, using these uh, bits was a last resort um, if you end up having to do this you know be extremely careful you know don't don't rush it take your time um, and uh, you know I saw a bunch of videos on this subject and people are using grease and, and, and uh, bread uh, but that that just none of that was just it just wasn't working this thing was really on there this bearing was super super on there it was just too tight so it's ultimately a combo of this tool ended up did working it there at the end after um, um, grinding away pretty much that whole section so ultimately it did work but again if you end up having to 
go this route. Take your time with it. Don't rush it. All right, fellas. As always, I'll see you.